morning everybody good morning sir. a very important news in the recent time is that the government of india is expanding <laughs> new ministers have joined our prime minister has uh, expanded the ministry so therefore it becomes relevant for all of us to know about indian system of governance all of you might be familiar with the indian system of governance still i find it uh, important to discuss with you some of them let's talk about organs of government the most important person taking decision in our parliament is prime minister he is assisted by a cabinet so prime minister and cabinet they are responsible but the apex post in our constitution is that of president rashtrapati so rashtrapati gives the decision making powers to prime minister and his cabinet and uh, then we have two bodies rajya sabha lok sabha upper house lower house the rajya sabha is called upper house and the lok sabha is called lower house the members of lok sabha are real uh, representatives of people because they are selected by people people give vote for them they are selected the members of rajya sabha are uh, nominated they are not directly elected therefore the the lok sabha members were selected directly from the voters they naturally have a greater say the lok sabha is bigger in size 544 members 545 members so it is much almost more than double the size of rajya sabha which is having only 250 members the members of rajya sabha are selected by state legislators in fact they are selected by political parties so if congress is having majority they would be having more uh, members or if bjp will have more uh, members they will give more representation so this is uh, rajya sabha is uh, in a way a political power to the political parties because they are able to nominate some people who are very eminent uh, but who are not otherwise uh, get votes they can come through rajya sabha many great peoples were only in rajya sabha for example manmohan singh ji remained in rajya sabha for a long time so rajya sabha generally those people who are really very intellectual very very uh, erudite they come from rajya sabha in uh, the recent reshuffling of the cabinet there are a few ministers who have come from rajya sabha well this is the existing building indian uh, parliament it is called bicameral parliament because there are two houses rajya sabha which is called council of states or upper house lok sabha which is called house of the people or lower house this is the existing building a new building is being constructed nearby which will be ready in the next few years and uh, that will be much bigger the congress is opposing the construction of new parliament building because that is going to cost huge money this is uh, the look of the rajya sabha it is called the upper house
Rajya Sabha has 250 members. 12 are nominated by the President of, President of India. Rest are indirectly elected by state legislator assemblies. The Council of States cannot be dissolved because uh, the Lok Sabha is dissolved, but uh, the Rajya Sabha is not dissolved. The Rajya Sabha is not dissolved because here uh, one third of the members keep retiring after every second year. The term of a member is uh, six years. So um, you might have heard that Sachin Tandulkar is also a member of Rajya Sabha, uh, Hema Malini and uh, a large number of heroes, heroines large number of actors and uh, and these uh, uh, sports persons are also in Rajya Sabha. So they have been nominated and uh, because of their uh, amazing contribution they are also part of Rajya Sabha and uh, so Sachin Tandulkar is also part of Rajya Sabha although his attendance is very less here and uh, the Legendary actors, actresses, writers, legendary journalists, legendary figures, scientists, they are also nominated and they you can find them in Rajya Sabha. Lok Sabha or lower house, right? Uh, maximum strength is 552. Right now we have four 545 members. Two are appointed by the President of India from Anglo. Indian society. The rest are directly elected from single member districts. The term is five years. Lok Sabha elects his presiding officer, the speaker, 16th, uh, that is. And we have state legislature. The constitution of, uh, of India provides for legislature in each state. The composition of state legislature is different in different states. It can be bicameral or unicameral. Seven states have bicameral legislature, which are Andhra Pradesh, Bihar, Jammu Kashmir, Karnataka, Maharashtra, Uttar Pradesh, Telangana. These have bicameral legislations. The rest have unicameral. Delhi and Pondicherry have unicameral legislature. In case of bicameral state legislature, the upper house is known as Vidhan Parishad or State Legislative Council. The lower house is called State Legislative Assembly or Vidhan Sabha. So these these are the places from where we get most of the laws. The most important task of uh, the, mem the legislatures is to enact laws and uh, create those laws so that people are able to get benefit. <clears throat> 